you are watching Redicon. Let's complete the upper limb review with looking at some shoulder cases for rapid reporting. Case 26. Right shoulder Y view is shown. Glenoid cavity is at the junction of coracoid, spine and body of scapula and is highlighted as green. You can see the proximal humerus or humeral head has dislocated anteriorly. It is an abnormal film showing anterior shoulder dislocation. Case 27. This shoulder view just highlights the need for zooming all the images for better assessment. A zoomed image shows a fracture mid-shaft left clavicle. Case 28. Right shoulder view. While you are looking for the obvious and occult abnormalities, please pay some attention to extra findings. A classic rapid reporting film is where an unexpected finding is present, such as a shoulder x-ray like this showing this right lung apical tumor. Case 29. The shoulder film shows no significant abnormality in the right shoulder joint, but if you trace the clavicle medially, there is a fracture of medial end of clavicle with displacement. Now that is a classic rapid reporting film. Once you see the abnormality, you cannot unsee it. Case 30 shows another example of anterior dislocation of left shoulder joint. Case 31 the right shoulder joint seems normal. However, let's zoom and review. Well, let's zoom a little bit more. And yes, there is a fracture of the scapula. Finding in rapid reporting may be well hidden, but once you find these, there will be no doubt such as this one. Case 32, left shoulder view. It shows loss of congruity of the left glenohumeral joint with light bulb sign of the humeral head. It shows posterior dislocation of the left shoulder joint, another exam favorite for rapid reporting as well as viva. Case 33. The glenohumeral joint, AC joint, scapula, proximal humerus, clavicle, adjacent ribs, soft tissues all look normal. No obvious abnormality seen. It's a normal shoulder film. Case 34. Left shoulder AP view. Glenohumeral joint appears normal, intact clavicle, but let's zoom up the image a little bit more. There are some degenerative changes, probably in the rotator cuff and AC joint, not criteria for calling it abnormal in the rapid reporting, but there seems to be some abnormality in the scapula. Let's zoom it one more level. And there we go. There is a lytic lien in the superior aspect of left scapula with significant bony destruction and soft tissue calcific changes. There is a malignant tumor present. Let's review important points in shoulder x-rays for rapid reporting. Main abnormalities to look for are anterior and posterior dislocation, clavicular fractures, neck of humerus fracture. Review areas include ribs and scapula fractures, lung tumors, and spine lesions if spine is visible. Okay, let's recall our three golden rules for rapid reporting. Golden rule one, always zoom up. Rule two, check your review areas. Golden rule three, which is most important, that do not overcall. If you cannot make a $10,000 bet on this fracture or abnormality, you can easily mark it as normal. The examples shown in this talk are very close to real exam. If you are not confident about the abnormality, then it is likely normal. More people fail exam because of overcalling rather than missing important diagnosis. Let me give you an example. In this case, the candidate attempted 30 films, four overcalls marked as O, and three missed diagnoses labeled as M. They got 23 correct answers. If they had not overcalled and had got those four films correct, it would be a pass such as 27 correct answers getting 54 marks. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. 
You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in Radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.